Praise be to the Lord. Today, I welcome you all for the another episode of On the Horizon of Heaven. Saints are the friends of God. Saints are the person who walk in the way which is taught us by the Jesus Christ. Saints are the person who put up suffering in their life, who spend their life to do service for others, who face the evil with the goodness, who spread the joy and peace around the world. But Pope Francis said, being a saint is not a great privilege or inheritance. All of us are inherited through the ability to become a saint by the baptism. So today I am going to talk about a person who is innocent in heart, simple in nature and believes and lived on the prudence with God. He is Father Armand Madhavat, who was the founder of the two prominent meditation centers in Kerala and the champion of Kerala charismatic movement. Let's see about his life history. Father Arbat Madhavan was born on November 25, 1930 in Marangatupali Parish, Paula Diocese, near Talacheri, for Francis and Rosa couple. He was the fourth of eight children of the Madhavat Francis Rose couple. After completing his schooling, he started studying to become a student in the Ajmer Missionary, but of Francis of Assisi. He started studying to become a priest, but his fascination with the spirituality of Assisi led him to the Capuchin Church. The first promise made by him was on the 13th May 1954. He studied philosophy at the Capuchin Seminary in Kollam and theology at the Ferrari in Kotagari. He was ordinated on May 25th, 1960 by the Bishop Mar Antony Paditara, the Bishop of the Uti Diocese. His first divine sacrifice was to the Nedivale with his family members who migrated to the Vainar in plantation. He is also the founder of Vimalagiri Meditation Center near Itiri. Let's see about his missionary life. His first phase was at Purnurni Ashram near Ernakulam, the Nasrat Ashram in Alwa, the Nuveshuris in Bangalore, the Muvatipula Ashram and the Baranangyanam Seminary. His missionary life was moved on by the services, the sacrifice with zeal, hearing confession with mercy and praying for a long time. The Ark was beloved by his fellow monks and the natives, and the life of Archbishop Francis of Assisi was marked by his humility, simplicity and silence. He worked in the Diocese of Paula as a director of Franciscan congregation. He also served as a caretaker of the government-run orphanage. Always have a close relationship with others. For the Armand was lived as a great monk. In the year 1976, for the Armand, he received an inner call of call. And in the January of the same year, he had an opportunity to participate in the first charismatic meditation held at Christ College in Calicut. He, who experienced the birth of Oribi, becomes happier and happier, realizing that he is a child of God and began to live on according to it. For the Armand always wanted to make available to everyone the spiritual fulfillment that he experienced through the charismatic meditation and also to make this meditation available in Malayalam. The first charismatic meditation in Malayalam was conducted on September 24, 1976 in Assisi organized. With the help of few missionaries, Father A.K. John and Father Gracian. In the spirit, the sacrifice made by him to nurture a large community to full-fledged people all over the Kerala was unforgettable. The charismatic thought convention and parish meditation. He worked hard to popularize the reform movement and to train people from all walks of life. He also tried to bring him to the leadership ranks. Father Armand Madhavat had to face various opposition and obstacles. However, with the gentle reply, he used to face them, pious the Lord. He survived always submission to the authorities. He served by re relaying God's providence. Father Madhavat, who served at Baranangyanam Assisi Meditation Center for 20 years and brought it to the pinnacle of growth, inspired to move on Vimalagiri Meditation Center, which was started in the year 1996 near Itiri in Kannur district. The meditation center, started by him, 
was considered as the spiritual heart of Malabar. Because when he started to build the meditation center, literally he had no money. He begged for money from nothing. He used to say, it is the house of Blessed Virgin Mary, so God would build it. A healer was nothing a great meditator, counselor or a ministry or a philanthropist. But the presence of him, who was the extraordinary, burning in the love of God, was enough to bring peace and tranquility. The teacher of prayer and the worshipper of word, or the Titus, was suddenly in the 70s. Father Arman lives with the prudence with God. He believes it will be his specialty. Everyone would say that Father Arman believes in the prudence with God. In fact, it was his specialty. Because of his prudence with God, many people are came for his blessings and prayers. He is very simple in nature. He always shows simplicity among all. He never shows partiality to anyone. He is very innocent in heart. He is not a person who hides any secret from all. Father Arman became ill in 2001 on January 12th. His race completed. His physical body, it was associated with the monastery in Vimalagiri Ministry. Since then, the tomb of Archangel has been formed as the sanctuary of prayer had begun. For the spiritual children, neighbors and fellow nuns were the first to come to the tomb for the intersection. Later, meditators, acquaintances, relatives and the people from various religions started coming to the graveyard for the prayers and blessings. Now, for the Armand's for the Armand Madhavad soul is in the process of sainthood. It has reached up to the diocese level. The reason for its process was many miracles happened in the missionary, the meditation center which he built. Some of them are the cancer. Cancer was cured for a faithful who prays to Father Armand. Many childless families received children because of him. Many were cured from diseases and many were confessed and changed into a good person because of his blessings. Cult of Saint is a rising belief. It is the connection between the heaven and earth to the graves of the saint. The story of the saints is a story that examines the complexities and the tribulations of everybody life. For the Ahmad Madhavan is not be declared as saint, but he is in the process called sainthood, otherwise known as diocesan investigation. Let us all pray for him to succeed in this process. I thank the Almighty and my parish diocese and everyone who helped me and gave me these opportunities. Thank you.